Hey guys, hey man, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Juan Motivates. Um, if you're new to my channel and you've never been here before and you're like, man, you know what? I saw this hairy guy on the video on the, on the, on the what's it called? The, what's the proper word? Um, on the thumbnail. And I just had to click on him. Hey man, you came to the right channel. You had a good instinct of clicking that right channel, that right, um, you know, thumbnail. I'm here to help you guys make a good decision in your medical professional career or endeavor, however you want to say it. Um, there's a lot of channels out there that give you the the good, just only the good about a certain career, whether it's nursing, whether it's radiology, whether it's physical therapy, whether it's phlebotomy, whether it's whatever it is, they always seem to give you the, the, the good parts, but they don't seem to give you the inside depth or what could go wrong or what happens if you don't like it or what else can you do you know everybody's always like oh yeah it's good to do this blah blah, blah. but as uh, my day ones know man on this channel we keep it real man we keep it 100 you know because i want you guys to make the best decision for yourself i want you guys to go to school enjoy it already know what you're gonna get yourself into and um and succeed that's the most important thing man is succeed you know um if you read my comments on my videos you'll see all the comments i get man and you know there's good and bad and not bad as far as bashing me all the time because you know you get those too but you get those students like man everything you said on your videos man i went to school i did it it was like you said hard but i stayed committed and uh i did it you know, and then you'll get those students like, man, I don't know if I'm smart enough. You know, how do I get into it? You know, is it for me? Is it not for me? So that's when I send you videos. I'll be like, look, I made already a topic on this. Read it, take notes, not read it, but, you know, watch it, take notes on it because I do give you real life inside, you know, scoop on the medical profession. You know, mostly radiology because that's what I am. I'm a radiology technologist, um, certified in RT, CT, my bachelor's. Um, I'm also a barber, you know what I'm saying? Go see my videos, I'm also a barber too. Um, I'm trying to get back in the, um, in the shop now, man, and, and uh, you know, do some cuts. I'm not, prof I, I am a professional by, you know, I took my test and I'm a certified professional barber in the state of Florida, but I can't say I'm good yet to, you know, start my own, you know, uh, open up my own barber shop yet, because I'm not at that level. I work a lot, this is guaranteed money, that's why, you know, I still stick to my field. That is something, a hobby that I wanted to do. And I did it, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, besides the point. So anyway, guys, if you, you know, you're ready for the right channel, you think you want to be the medical profession, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Uh, don't forget to like uh, and leave a comment, you know, whether it's good or bad. I, re I, I I don't take anything personal. You know, let me know what what you know about the field. Let me know if I'm doing something wrong and be like, hey, man, your videos aren't no good. Let me know. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm here to help you. I'm here to I'm also here to learn. I don't I don't claim to know everything. You know, but I'm here to tell you what I do know. I've been in the field for 15 years. I'm already where I'm at, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of people are trying to get there and I'm here to help you. So anyway, today's video is about international students. Yes, I get a lot of questions about, hey man, how to become a, if I wanna to come to the USA, how do I become a, you know, a technologist? Like what do I have to do, you know? Um, what can I do? So, I went under AERT and I found this. 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 I think that's it. <laughs> but if there's more, I'm gonna be like, boo! But anyway, take your time, pause the video, take screenshots, whatever you gotta do. Um, Cause basically the AERT tells you exactly what you need to do if you want to become a radiology technologist in the United States. Um, unfortunately, you know, you have to read through that, you know, cause I can be wrong too. But, um, but when I read it and what I got from it is that you have to come to the US, take a, a college course that is accredited by the AERT, you know, so if your school is not eligible to take the AERT exam, you cannot apply for it, basically, point blank. You know what I'm saying? So if you're a technologist and just throwing a country out there, um, uh, India, you know, say you're, you're, you're already all technologists in India and you have 20 years of experience. Unfortunately, from what I read, and I could be wrong again, that's why you got a screenshot, take your time, read it. You cannot just transfer your your um, your equipment to the U.S. or your your certification to the U.S. to the U.S.A. because 
it's different. You you guys out there go by different accreditations, uh, accreditation bodies. Your your radiation can be higher than ours or lower. Um, so every so every country standard is different. Okay, so that's the thing. Even even us. Like if I wanted to go to you know say you know England or Spain or anything like that as a radio technologist, even though. I have the license and I've been a tech for over 15 years. I passed the AART registry. I passed the AART CT. I went to a, 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 you know, a USA college and I got my bachelor's in management. You know, that doesn't mean nothing. You know what I'm saying? Because when I go to a different country, they have their own standards and they're going to be like, look, I know you are OG, you know, in the game. You know what I'm saying? You're OG. That don't mean you're going to, you know, you can just slide right in here. You know what I'm saying? You got to take another test. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to do what we tell you to do for you to have our license in radiology in our country, you know, and, and I have to respect that. You know what I'm saying? You have to respect that. Everybody's different. So that's something that, you know, we have to understand. Um, now, let me tell you, the only one that I have seen, the only career that I have seen that will allow you to come from another country, yes, you guessed it, nursing. Nursing is one of those certifications that they will allow you to have a visa in the United States to work. Nursing and maybe, I think teaching, because I remember back in the day, my um, my aunt from, from Mexico, she came on a teaching visa. So I think teaching and nursing are probably the two most common ones that will allow you to come to the United States to work. Um, other than that, you know, kind of out of luck. But uh, but yeah, you, that's why you see, and, and nothing against nobody. I'm not here to say anything about any, I love everyone, you know what I'm saying? So no disrespect to anybody. But you know, you see a lot of Philippine nurses, male, female, that go to school in the Philippines, do the whole two years, and I'm not sure if they do, I'm not sure they got to have experience in the Philippines or not, but you know, they do their nursing, they are in the Philippines, and they come to the United States because we are so short staffed in nursing that, you know, we allow other countries to come in here, you know, and become nurses. It, it is to the point that hospitals pay. I don't know how it works, but say you're in the Philippines, they pay you all the expenses like the visa, how to get the visa. They'll, they'll work with the government to get you a visa to get you to the United States to work for that particular hospital. I know it's, it's it's insane, you know, nurses get so much more respect. Again, not bashing nurses, not bashing radiology techs, not bashing anyone. That's just the way it is, man, that's it. We can't complain about it, that's the way it is. Uh, we need nurses, we need x-ray techs, we need phlebotomists, we need doctors, we need radiologists, we need everybody. So everybody is needed. So we can't sit there and be like, oh, they're, you know, they're not better than us or we're not better than them or we're better than them. And at the end of the day, man, what it comes down to is we're here for patient care. We're here to take care of patients and that's it. That's the bottom line, but it is what it is, you know? So nurses are the only ones that I know that can come from another country and don't have to transfer anything. They pay for everything. You come on a visa. I don't know how long, I don't know how it works. I don't know if it's like LeBron James, you get extended for two more years after two years. <laughs> I don't know, to be honest. But that is a possibility. So I guess what I can say is that if you're in another country and you want to come to the U.S., if you have a clean record and you want to come to the U.S. to work in a medical profession or teaching possibly, become a teacher or become a registered nurse. That's the only thing I could possibly say to you guys to you know really let you know how to come to this country and work in a medical profession. Um, again, you know, um, I, again, everybody, like I said, is a different, you know, um, standards for everybody. And uh, yeah, that's it, man. Um, you know, I, I feel bad because I get more than, I, I get this question more than once, probably a day. And I honestly didn't know how to tell them. So I was like, you know what, let me just make a video. Let me show them proof of the AART registry because the AART is the number one accreditation body for x-rays, for x-ray technologists. So let me show them the proper steps. Let me show them that I'm not just, you know, saying anything to be like, oh, he don't want it to come to the US to work. Like, no, it's not that. Is there the just standards and there's things that you have to do first before you can come here and work. So there you go, guys. I hope that this video helped you guys internationally. I know you've been asking for this and um, I'm sorry to make it sooner. 
But I hope that this helped you guys out there make the best decisions um, to become a technologist in the USA. And I know you have to come back to the USA, do two more years, pass a hard registry. These registries aren't easy, you know what I'm saying? They make them hard for a reason. Not everybody can do it. Um, and I hope that this helped you guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate each and every one of you guys out there. And you already know, I will be back.